Hello and welcome to the video for Friday, April the 10th. Uh, this is for third grade, uh, covering chapter 10.1, which is working with uh, telling time using an analog clock. So um, this is something that we normally would have talked about more um, in the classroom, but since we are doing distance learning right now, um, that has not happened as much as it probably should have. So um, we are just going to be working with counting by ones and fives. So I hope this will be fairly easy for everybody um, if you were uh, struggling with this particular idea. So let's take a look at our unlock the problem for today. So we're saying it's Groundhog Day and we are looking at the time that the groundhog saw his shadow. So uh, we would use the hour hand, which is the shorter hand here, um, it's between 7 and 8 o'clock, so that means it's going to be 7 o'clock. <clears throat> and then we are going to use the outside of the clock to figure out what time it is. So each of these large numbers we could multiply by 5, and it's on the 7, so that would be 7.35 or 35 minutes after 7. And so what they wanted us to do was fill in counting by five. So this would have been 20, 25, 30, 35. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the next example. I'm not gonna take the time to um, try to write all of this in because it ends up wasting a lot of time and it's hardly legible um, when I do that. So the hour hand is going to tell us for this one that the time is between one o'clock and two o'clock. It's not gonna tell us a.m. or p.m. Um, like some digital clocks will. Um, but we could guess that if it was during school, that it would be 1 p.m. instead of a.m. And then the minute hand is going to tell us how many minutes after the hour. So the hour hand tells us what hour we're in, and the minute hand tells us how many minutes after the hour, or in some cases, how many minutes before the next hour we are. So if we count by fives, we would get five, then our first blank would be 10, then 15, then 20, and now we're counting by ones. So each of these tiny little, um, I usually call them ticker hash marks um, because of my background doing marching band. <laughs> um, so uh, each of these little uh, hash marks counts for ones. So we'd go from 20 to 21 to 22 to 23. And that would be 123 or 23 minutes after one. And again, we can do the same thing here, except we're counting how many minutes it is before the next hour. So I'm going to scoot this up just a tad. Um, so our hour hand tells us that we are between two and three o'clock. And the minute hand, if we count up to the hour, would give us 5, 10, 15, 16 and we are 17 minutes away so that would be 243 and if i do 43 plus 17 that would give me 60 there are 60 minutes in an hour um, so you can kind of use that to help you as well so we are 17 minutes before three or we are at 243. so let's go ahead and take a look at our share and show problems and so um, you're going to see the homework part. I'm just keeping everything in the same whiteboard. So as soon as I finish this part, I will record the homework answers, um, which will come out on a separate video at 6 p.m. Uh, Friday night. So number one, how would you use counting and the minute hand to find the time shown on the clock? So our minute hand, if we zoom in really close, which I think this is about as close as it's going to let me do, um, we are on 24, so we're not quite all the way to the 5. So if we are using counting, we can count by 5s for the big 1, big 2, big 3, big 4. That would give us 5, 10, 15, 20. And then we would count by 1s, 21, 22, 23, 24. And our time would be 124. So I'll go ahead and put that part in really quick. Number three, um, again, I'm going to try to adjust slightly here. Write the time and write one way you can read the time. So the time, it's currently between six and seven, and we are at five, 10, 
15, 16, 17 minutes after 6. So we can do 6, 17, and we can say, um, I'm going to make that my 7 because I already messed up. 17 minutes after 6. And for number 5, uh, write the time. So we have a digital clock, which everyone should be comfortable with. So that one is very obviously going to look exactly the same as it does right here on the first blank. One way we could read the time would be 12 minutes after 3. I'm not going to write that in this time. Number 7, our hour hand is uh, just a little bit past the 6, which means we are between 6 and 7 o'clock. We can count by 5s, 5, 10, and it looks like it's on the 2 here um, as it zoomed in on my screen. Um, so that would be 6, 10. And we could say that that would be 10 minutes after 6. Um, number nine, so 11 minutes before six, let's say that I am here, my hour hand would be just on this side of the six, and if I count back 11 minutes, that would be five, 10, 11, so it would be between five and six for the hour, and we would be at 49 minutes, so the time that we could write for that would be five, 49. And eventually, once we get more practice with this, we won't even need the clock. If we know there are 60 minutes and we do 60 minus 11, that would give us this number for the minutes. Five minutes before 12, again, we could do 60 minus 5 to figure out that we are at 55 minutes into the hour. And the hour, if we're before 12, would still be 11, so that would be 11.55. So that covers the problems that I want to do for uh, the first part of the video, which just covers uh, the lesson. I'm getting ready to record the um, uh, homework part right now, uh, which you will be able to see later on uh, this evening if you're seeing this on Friday morning. So I will see you in just a few moments. Have a great day.